San Diego State is one of the nation's most diverse institutions and a leader in closing, in closing equity gaps in underserved students. Research and innovation and the highly skilled workforce developed here have helped make San Diego one of the nation's, if not the world's, centers for telecommunications, biotechnology, and defense. The institution has long enjoyed the support from the local community from the 1928 vote that authorized the campus here on the Mesa to the recent approval of the truly visionary Mission Valley expansion that's in the works. These are just a few examples, I agree. These are just a few examples of what is remarkable and undeniable momentum. I can think of no leader better suited to build upon this momentum than Adela De La Torre. Her intelligence, her compassion, her willingness to listen, her unique ability to inspire a shared vision for a brighter future for all who comprise this diverse campus community and beyond. Make Adela the right leader for San Diego State University. And now, the serious part of the show. <laughs> Adela, if you forgive me from using your formal title, I'd like to have you and Chairman Day join me at the podium. And you can be enthusiastic when this part's done, just so you know. By the authority granted to me by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby invest you, Adela De La Torre, with the Office of President of San Diego State University with all the honors, privileges, and most importantly, the authority, responsibilities, and accountability pertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, President Adela De La Torre. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Solamente una vez hay en la vida. Only once in a lifetime is a song my grandmother taught me as a little girl. I've carried it within me all my life as a reminder of my grandmother. But now is a reminder that there's only one time in our life to do something truly remarkable, to do something that has never been done before, to be part of something so meaningful that it can transform the world. I'm deeply moved by the beautiful rendition by our students, not just because of the personal meaning it carries for me, but because it symbolizes a bridge that connects the value of my youth, which prepared me for this moment, and the values of this great institution, which brought us to this moment. And so I stand before you, humbled by our legacies that now connect. First, let me acknowledge the 122-year legacy of this magnificent institution and the confidence that you bestow on me to lead our next chapter of distinction. I am mindful that I inherit a landscape that has been cultivated not just by eight presidents before me, but also by faithful, thousands of faithful hands, chancellors, trustees, faculty, staff, alumni, students, and visionary partners. I'm also moved by the care and respect that the Kumayai Nation took in their stewardship of this land, land where we stand today. Mm -hmm. 
To all of you who represent these critical roles and foundational values, I thank you and I applaud you. I know I stand here as a first woman to serve as permanent president to lead this university, but I recognize that I stand on the shoulders of women who have shaped the identity of SDSU from the very beginning. In the earliest days at San Diego Normal School, women formed the majority of the student population. Through the years, women stepped forward to create new areas of study, including the nation's first women's study program. <laughs> From day one, women have led colleges, produced groundbreaking research, and developed the minds of the future. To all the women who paved the way and continue to do so, I tip my hat to you, and I applaud you. Our 122-year harvest is a class of more than 400,000 diverse alums impacting San Diego and the world. Look around. Our graduates are the powerhouse artists, entrepreneurs, teachers, scientists, inventors, and elected officials making a difference today in unique ways. But because they understand our geography and that we stand at the crossroads of a profound national narrative, they have become the visionaries who are pushing the boundaries of innovation. They are the trailblazers who are breaking barriers, building bridges, and crossing borders every day. Yes, proud Aztecs we are, we must not be complacent, for we have more barriers to break, more bridges to build, and more borders to cross. We must remember that complacency does not propel curious and hungry minds. Complacency does not break barriers. Complacency will not get us where we need to go. We have critical work to do. We need to prepare the global citizens, compassionate leaders, and ethical innovators of the future. But to succeed, we must cultivate a culture of curiosity, courage, and compassion where they can, for our students so they can strive. Together, we will do this important work. First, we must remember that curiosity and courage have have always been the energy that propelled us forward to challenge ideas, to move past failure, and explore new frontiers. Curiosity is the art of asking, what if? Think about it. As people on the border, we are positioned to be curious. We straddle two nations, yet in some dimensions, we can blend into one. Our curiosity transcends boundaries to advance knowledge and expand human potential. It was a curiosity of our faculty that uncovered the molecular basis for how black widow spiders produce their intricate webs, a substance tougher than the material in bulletproof vests. The knowledge has unlimited applications. It was a curiosity of our faculty that gave us birth to Arts Alive, to expand discovery and meaning for every member of our campus. Whether in the whimsical surprise of the brightly colored benches on campus or the collaboration of over 200 students performing Les Mis, or rigorous courses that blend dance and physics or design and biology, our entire campus is a living lab laboratory for creative innovation that transcends borders and silos. Fostering and celebrating curiosity and courage is part of our DNA, and we must continue to do so. But as we move forward into the future, we must be vigilant, because curiosity and courage alone are not enough to create the leadership of the future. That's why we need compassion, too. We can draw inspiration from our visionary alumni and donors who invested our students in our students for decades. Driven by deep sense 
of curiosity, courage, and compassion. They've donated hundreds of millions towards programs, state-of-the-art facilities, and scholarships that have yielded unprecedented success for our diverse students. Together, we will soar to new heights, training the university this community so richly deserves. And we have proof we can do this. Across our colleges, faculty are fueling greater student curiosity and learning by using virtual and augmented reality to give them more nuanced understanding into complex science. Faculty are also creating living laboratories in our transborder region to engage our students in community-based service learning and research projects. But here's what really excites me. Our students do not wait until graduation to make an impact on society. As part of their SDSU experience, they are solving tangible issues like hunger, homelessness, and global warming. Our faculty, staff, and students are uncovering ways to address health disparities. They're devising solutions to combat multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. They are establishing new standards of decency and government accountability in the treatment of refugees, just to name a few. SDSU, driven by curiosity, compassion, and courage, is also demonstrating that we can amplify our impact around the world. Last September, I traveled to SDSU's campus in the country of Georgia. Since 2014, SDSU has played a pivotal role in helping introduce STEM education and standards that are transforming higher education in Georgia. By 2024, SDL, at SDSU will have transformed the Georgian workforce that will propel the economic growth of the region. SDSU is continued to promote educational diplomacy reduce social inequities, and fuel economic growth through existing and new transnational partnerships. And that makes this economist educator very, very excited. Our vision for global impact will start in our own backyard. You've heard that we will soon break ground in Mission Valley. Together, as partners, as leaders, as students, we will build a state-of-the-art innovation district that will expand our capacity to serve thousands of students and advance groundbreaking, groundbreaking creative research. The neighborhood will provide accessible housing with a river park and a stadium complex, all within an environmentally sustainable community, a place for all San Diegans. We're not stopping there. SDSU Imperial Valley will continue to capitalize on its untapped potential. The campus sits in a rich agricultural region and is an epicenter of renewable energy sources and a focal point on border issues and binational university partnerships. Here at SDSU, we will continue to address current challenges, seize creative solutions, and uncover new opportunities to generate more revenue. Together, we must push innovation boundaries like never before. How will we do it? I recently had a fascinating chat with an SDSU alum, Jordan Evans. Now, Jordan led the NASA team that landed the rover, in, uh, the rover on Mars in 2012 after of dozens of failed attempts. Jordan said, you have to set the bar really high and expect that you're going to fail along the way and also recognize that in these failures, that occur, that's when the deep learning occurs. We must remember this lesson as we move forward because as every leader knows, what got us here won't get us where we want to go. We will face criticism. We will disagree. We'll fail along the way. But if we value the diverse curiosity everyone brings to the table, 
if we communicate with empathy and compassion. And if we have the courage to lift each other up when we fall, we will succeed. And that brings me to a final but vital topic as we start our new chapter together. I want to talk about you, but not just you, the student, or the faculty, or the staff member, or the community member. I want to talk to you, the son, the daughter, the father, the mother, the dreamer, with the personal dreams yet to achieve and obstacles yet to overcome. I want you to know that when we talk about a lofty vision for the future, I see you. Over the last 10 months, I've talked to hundreds of people during my listening tour. The number one question I get is, can you share your path to the presidency? I've sensed that behind the question is a desire to know how to break barriers and to shatter glass ceilings. Somewhat apprehensive at first, I've come to realize that apart from being an economist, a professor, and now a president, I've also become a role model. Not just for those who look like me, but also those who have not always received the benefits of a culture imbued with curiosity, courage, and compassion we aspire to foster here. To them and to you, te doy mis consejos de corazón. I give you my heartfelt advice. The essential puzzle pieces to achieve and maintain personal and professional success. First, be proud of who you are and the roots that make you strong. I am the product of the rhythms of my daily life, gifted to me by the values I inherited from my mother and my grandmother. As a child, I saw my single mother, Edminia, start her day at the crack of dawn in order to take two buses to climb her hill and to change the lives of students as a teacher. From her, I learned to value education, hard work, and deep family love. I saw my abuela Adela with her mocajete, grinding fresh ingredients with, for salsa, and always with her comal to make the best tortillas. I saw her pray to her virgencita, caressing each rosary bead with her arthritic hands. She showed me that with faith, we could always do more. And I saw her stretch a meal to feed neighbors, cousins, aunts, uncles, comadres, compadres, anyone who needed help. From her, I learned the power of faith, the power of love, and the power of compassion through the simple act of breaking bread with family and friends, during good times and during difficult times. Because everyone knows, con panza llena, corazón contento. Full stomach, happy heart. Where we come from matters. Where you come from matters. I learned who I was and how to value curiosity, courage, and compassion decades before I earned a PhD, before I earned tenure, and before I became president. It would be a disservice to this university if I did not bring all of who I am to my daily work. I hope that you feel the same way about the tremendous value you bring to our vision. Finally, honor the people who got you here. Thank the people who help you succeed. And surround yourself with the people who will keep you grounded. We all know that no one succeeds alone. It takes mentors and the sacrifice of many to achieve great heights. But if history and recent headlines can teach us anything, it is this, the fastest way down is when we forget to be humble, to be grateful, and to be true to the person who we always wanted to become. My hope is that you will always honor, thank, and cherish these important people in your life. As for me, to the mentors and advocates who helped me get here today, Chancellor Tim White, 
Chair Adam Day, and my mentors, friends, and family members who are joining me today, I thank you and honor you for the confidence that you've placed in me. To each of you who daily ensure this presidency succeeds, alumni, advisors, donors, faculty, staff, students, and members of my team, I thank you for I could not do this job without you. And to each of you who keep me grounded, my husband Steve, my love of my life, who never lets me forget there's life beyond being president. <laughs> my daughters, Adela and Gabriela, who provide the pure source of meaning in my life. My grandson, Javier, who reminds me, Buela, that the center of the universe is not SDSU, but the Model Railroad Museum at Balboa Park. <laughs> and to my future granddaughter, who brings me new hope. I cherish you today, tomorrow, and always. And to my mom, who I know at 96 is watching her on her iPad, te amo con todo mi corazón, mommy. <laughs> Friends, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for standing with me, with us, with SDSU today. This is just the beginning of a great future. Let's gift the world, the global citizens, and the compassionate leaders, and the ethical and innovators that will transform the world. But as my abuela Adela taught me, solamente una vez hay en la vida. There is only one time in our life. Solamente una vez to do something like what we will do at SDSU. This is my time. This is your time. This is our time. Mil gracias.